Today is Flag Day, a time dedicated to celebrating the symbolism and history of the American flag. The U.S. has celebrated the adoption of the Stars and Stripes in a variety of ways. When President Woodrow Wilson issued a proclamation establishing the day back in May of 1916. These celebrations include flying the flag in front of homes, participating in parades, and holding other patriotic events. And as it's National Flag Day, a day recognizing the significance of the flag, and today a local patriotic organization held a flag retirement ceremony as a way to remind people you have to properly dispose of a flag in accordance with the U.S. Flag Code. News 19's Nyjia Hood was there. The flag is a representation of our nation. So if, well, you can just throw it away. Uh, by it being a representation of our nation, you have to properly dispose of it. Eric Cannon is the deputy director of the Knights of Columbus. He says for U.S. military veterans, the American flag is a symbol of patriotism and sacrifice. The organization retired the American flag in a way that honors its significance during a ceremony in Columbia on Wednesday. A flag that has become old and worn can be cremated alongside the ashes of a Fallen veteran. Everything we do, we try to honor the flag, and so I wanted to come out and support the, the ceremony this morning. Veteran Michael Vaught served in the Navy for six years. It's a, it's a symbol of, of all the uh, men and women who have given their lives throughout the years uh, for uh, in defense of this country, for the, the, in defense of the freedoms uh, that we all enjoy. In Columbia, Nigel Hood, News 19, WLTX. This Veterans Day, Knights of Columbus plans to place 3,500 flags on the graves of veterans at Green Lawn Memorial Park. For those curious about how to retire an American flag, U.S. flag code states that the flag should be, quote, destroyed in a dignified way, preferably by burning. But burning the flag can send mixed signals. Different organizations often hold community events involving service members who help send the flags off with dignity and respect and a key part of the process is properly folding the flag. The flags are all folded and then they are presented one by one and they are saluted and then they are retired. Burning synthetic flags can pose health and environmental problems. Instead, flags can be buried or recycled. If you have an unserviceable flag, you can try reaching out to your local public works department Legion Post, VFW, or Funeral Home to see what kind of flags they accept.